Raj Finsav. Uh, Rajan, good morning. Uh, first, your thoughts on the telecom space. You think there's more juice left here, or do you think that you know once uh, I, the idea of Vodafone merger, if and when it goes through, it could really restrict profitability of the other companies like Bharti, etc. Uh, Sony, I think it's very positive. The consolidation of Idea and Vodafone uh, is extremely positive for the industry because we'll have three big players in the industry. Mm -hmm. So probably after uh, a fierce battle which is going on currently, probably you know maybe after a year or so, the three could sit down on a table and you know work out a deal whereby you know no more uh, blood battles actually. So I think it's positive and. Uh, uh, here we need to understand one thing that you know just like we have air and water without which we can't do you know five years down the line or maybe three years down the line we will not be able to do without internet and data you know so i think uh, though we have seen uh, bharti reported uh, reporting you know 50 percent plus drop in profits you know the stock has not come down actually it's moved up so i think uh, re-rating uh, re of p multiples will keep the stock uh, at a higher level and i think reliance is the biggest uh, story which is going to unfold so you know we are extremely positive on reliance uh, in this space. So is there Bharti any price idea. at which you are buying Bharti an idea? Uh, I think uh, Bharti is at 35 times a uh, little rich actually and idea I think it's moved up almost 25% uh, uh, but uh, reliance at 10p multiple you know looks mm -hmm. very very interesting you know. Okay uh, uh, Rajan hi good morning so that's telecom what about NBFCs uh, because we have seen super strong numbers uh, and the stocks are moved to within 10% of their previous highs. Well, Bajaj Finance reported excellent numbers yesterday, you know, yeah. and uh, for the past 10 years, it's growing at 40% plus CAGR, you know, and uh, even at 30p multiple, the stock is looking good, you know. So, I think NBFCs would continue to do well, and we, our prime pick is Mahindra and Mahindra Finance, which reported very responding numbers, but I think uh, the focus of this government is going to be on agriculture, and I think rural economy should do extremely well. So, my bet in the NBFC space is Mahindra and Mahindra Finance. Uh, okay. Well, what about uh, tech itself? Uh, uh, it's getting a lot of uh, global headwinds and yet Tech Mahindra did well. What's your pick of the pack and any thoughts on Tech Mahindra itself? Tech Mahindra also reported good numbers, you know, I mean, uh, we, I think it should end with about 35, 36 rupees kind of earnings. So it's trading at about 13 times, uh, which is very reasonable compared to uh, TCS, which is at about 18 times and uh, Infosys, which is at about 15 times. So I think there could be a mild re-rating of Tech Mahindra, probably about 10, 15 percent upside. In fact, Four percent of yeah. that already it's happened. Right. So, it, it's interesting because this month the, the stock has underperformed. Uh, but uh, uh, if four percent happens, then that would turn flat for the for the month uh, and still off about thirteen percent from its fifty-two week highs. Uh, Chandan Tapari is also with us. Chandan, good morning. Uh, what are your top trading ideas this morning? Yes, uh, good morning. Market has already seen the movement of more than 750 points and now ahead of the buzzer it might see the volatile move. But we have selected a few options in the stocks which are showing the sign of string. Uh, so first it is buy on Castrol. This stock has seen a positive price pattern. Supports are shifting on the higher side. It has surpassed immediate hurdle of 408, 410 zones. So looking for a positional target of 441 can buy on a small decline with a stop loss of 400. Second trade is buy on Arvind. Here we are suggesting to be with bull call spread. The stock has managed to respect its multiple support of 357 and all set to head to us 400 zone. So recommending to be with bull call spread by buying 380 call and selling 400 call. In the entire study, the risk is only 7 points. And if the stock moves to us 400, then one can get the profit of around 13 points. So one is to risk to risk reward ratio and we are expecting this stock to head to us 400 zone. While on the negative side, uh, most of the tire stocks are witnessing built up of short poison. Apollo tire is a sale idea where we are uh, witnessing call writing and the built up of short poison. So suggesting to buy with 185 put and expecting the put to head to us 14 rupees. While the last trade will be buy on ITC put. A uh, stock has failed to surpass multiple hurdle of 267 and most of the time ahead of the buzzer the stock might see some uh, volatile move. So looking for 255 put to buy with a stop loss of 4 for target of 16 rupees. Okay, thanks a lot for that Chandan. Well, a couple of more stocks to keep uh Looking at VGAR Industries is up 3.5% on the back of very good numbers that the company posted. So that has resumed its uptrend. Dalmia Bharat Sugar's numbers were quite good as well. So that stock too is up almost about 35 to 4%. And you have Imami where the numbers were not as bad as what the street was uh, fearing. So Imami too in pre-opening is seeing a couple of ticks. Uh, now up almost 1.5% over there. Uh, Rajan, a quick word from your own on FMCG because this time it hasn't been too bad. Whether you look at Imami, you look at Godrej Consumer. Uh, anything from that lot that you liked? Uh, well, uh, <coughs> uh, Sonia, uh, Godrej consumer actually uh, a very good set of numbers actually despite demonetization and plus I had uh, seen the interview of uh, Lata with uh, Mr. Adi Godrej you know sounding uh, extremely positive. So I think uh, Godrej consumer would continue to do well. 
But in the FMCG space, uh, uh, one of the stock which has been absolutely ignored by the market and which is now uh, Mr. N. Chandra Shikaran as the chairman is Tata Global Beverage, you know. Uh, it's at one time the sales, you know, the revenue is about uh, 8,000 crore, market cap is about 8,000 crore. Nowhere in the world you will get an FMCG company with a significant part of revenue coming in from branded sales uh, trading at one time. I think, uh, you know, Pepsi, Coke or Starbucks, they trade at three, four, five times the sales, you know, and this is one company at one time the sales, debt-free company, huge upside potential uh, uh, in this star uh, Starbucks venture. I think uh, looks very, very interesting and last two quarters the company has been reporting extremely strong numbers, you know, so I think uh, a price of about 175 cannot be ruled out immediately in Tata Global Beverage. Okay. Dish TV is the other stock which we should focus on by the way. The stock is down 4% in pre-open. So uh, looking quite interesting. Uh, uh, Ashwani, I wanted your thoughts on Dish TV, it's an FNS stock. Uh, and also a word on the pre-open rates which are settling again much better than what the SGX Nifty is indicating. Well, if they open here and kind of uh, don't move lower in a hurry, Chances are that, uh, you know, you could have another range bound day. Uh, based on the SCX, uh, it was looking like they are going to break down. But if for the first half an hour you stay uh, with this 10-12 point decline, then probably the market would more likely remain range bound. Uh, on DISH TV, uh, you know, it's been moving sideways. Now, I think if it opens uh, down 4%, chances are we should uh, go back towards 75, 77 uh, and test those levels. Okay, uh, well, uh, you know, I wanted to get back to that uh, uh, NBFC stocks uh, and the demonetization plays. Some of them got a uh, badgering at that time. Mahindra is the only one. You don't, uh, are you not looking at the MFI space and the housing finance space? Well, you know, uh, you can't put all uh, significant part of your portfolio money in, uh, you know, uh, one particular sector, you know. So, uh, the, the, reason, the, reason, yeah, the reason I am bullish on Mahindra and Mahindra, which I had explained in my earlier conversation with you, is that, you know, over the last six years, the branch network has doubled, the number of employees has gone up by 60%, okay. and the company has gone nowhere, you know. And the focus of this government is on rural India. So, as rural India prospers, probably we will see this company growing at a much faster rate than what other companies have been growing at, you know. Okay. So I then, think it could be a, a, a big story, Mahindra and Mahindra Finance. Now the other reason why I asked you is that it is expected the budget will go big on affordable housing. Uh, so therefore, a housing finance or more importantly, cement. Uh, we had uh, Sangi and Sri Cement numbers and they were... In fact, uh, uh, Lata, I have a very interesting victim. play in affordable housing and I think the market has absolutely ignored this. You know, there's a company called Mahindra Life Space Developers, yes. you know. Now, people, uh, most of the people in the market feel that it's into, uh, you know, integrated cities and industrial parks. But actually, the company did two affordable housing projects, one in Boisar near Bombay and the second one at Chennai. And Mr. Arun Nanda in the chairman's statement has very clearly mentioned that affordable housing is going to drive future growth of this company. So, I think this company at 1500 crores of market cap trading at about 360 rupees looks very, very interesting. I think the market cap can multiply over the next 5-6 years. And um, the one of the other interesting thing is that yesterday the company reported excellent numbers and the stock came down. It's trading at hardly 12-13 times the earning and Mahindra Group. You know? So, I think it looks very, very interesting. Okay. No, I'm just yeah. going to ask you, is your favorite uh, uh, auto stock m and because you like Mahindra uh, MMFSL, you like Tech Mahindra, you like Mahindra Life Spaces? I have plenty of stories in the Mahindra and Mahindra Group. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to do extremely well. Yes, m and uh, I do like, but uh, Escort, Escort mm -hmm. which has been my pick since the price of 80 rupees, uh, has been my prime uh, pick in the auto space. Oh yes, for many, many years it's been your favorite stock. But one of the stocks of the day could be ONGC. In fact, uh, in pre-opening, as you were mentioning, the stock is up more than 4 odd percent. <coughs> Remember, tomorrow in the union budget, there is an expectation that there could be a reduction in the cess rates as well. And if that comes through, it could be a big positive for a lot of these upstream companies. Uh, Sudarshan, um, any thoughts on how to approach Reliance and ONGC, not just t t today and tomorrow because there's a big event, but in the slightly medium term, are the trends looking uh, positive there? See, ONGC's trend is likely to stay positive. It's already on a roll. It's in the bull market. So the current dip we are seeing and maybe if there's a dip tomorrow, it's a swing trading buying opportunity. Reliance had a breakout day yesterday, but that's one after many days of consolidation. So for the short term trader, it's really you have to wait the budget out. Okay. Oh, well, uh, I just wanted to point out that uh, Natco Pharma is also doing well and that complicated uh, uh, argument, uh, uh, If I let me see if I can remember, Copaxon is uh, uh, four 
patents related to Copaxon were held invalid. They were filed by Teva and therefore those who make that drug in India, Natco Pharma being one of them, are likely to benefit, get closer to uh, be able to market that uh, drug and that stock is up about 3.8%. Uh, On that note, Rajan, any uh, drug stocks that you like? Well, we like MNC pharma companies more than Indian pharma companies. I think Indian many Pfizer of the Pfizer numbers were below par. Yeah, Pfizer numbers were below par, but uh, we do like Novartis, uh, where uh, we have a I have a personal position. Also, I would like to give another disclosure that we have positions in the stock which I mentioned: Mahindra Life Space, Mahindra sure. Finance, and Reliance. Thank you. That point taken. By the way, couple of more names. Uh, v Mart Retail is up eight uh, percent, reacting to numbers. Kitex Garments is up six percent. Uh, Prime Focus is up 12% in pre-open and keep an eye on PNB Guilds. Uh, that stock corrected, of course, uh, that guilt rally is playing out again maybe and uh, that stock is up 5% posted numbers as well yesterday. Uh, they also looked good. So that's also the other stock to watch out for. Pre-open rates have actually now settled. So three points lower on the Nifty and 18 points in the green for the Sensex, though the bank Nifty is down about 50 points. Uh, uh, before we go to Ashwani for his 914 call, uh, uh, Prakash, uh, a quick word on the bank Nifty. How would you trade it? As far as bank is concerned, I think it's slightly more sluggish here. There is a resistance around in the vicinity of 19,650, 70 zones. If we get an opportunity in the green, I would like to short. Possible target on the downside is 19,500, where we could see some kind of support emerging, but I doubt it really. Okay, well, uh, we're still counting down to uh, the market opening. Uh, well, uh, Sudarshan, uh, the obvious uh, focus of attention is going to be idea and Bharti, uh, anything on, on those charts that you want to tell us? Well, Bharti is a for an investment uh, in, investor. Bharti is a buying opportunity. It's just broken out of a very large trading range. So go for it. Okay, and Ashwini, what would your 914 call be? See, Canfin Homes uh, can be bought with the stock around 1800. Look for targets of 1920. Okay, uh, Ashwini, I wanted your uh, thoughts on idea as well. Yesterday, you told our viewers that even at you know 10% or 8% rally, it was a buy, and that call worked out. It's indicating another three and a half percent rally. Uh, would you recommend booking here, booking profit? See, if you entered yesterday, you should take profits. But uh, you know this sort of a move. I think will now consolidate and as more details come in, you will get follow through because obviously this kind of a move wasn't created by retail investors. So chances are that idea has bottomed out and from here all telecom stocks should have at least a 10-15% style rally. Okay, well uh, is there a play in ICICI bank today Ashwini if a compulsive trader wanted to play it before the results? Well, uh, you know, I think the best way to play it is that uh, the worst is priced in. Mm. So anything positive, if it comes, I think it will tend to rally. It did rally 4% on some expectation. So maybe buy some calls and uh, go into the results because, you know, the market wants to go up. Mm. Uh, so maybe ICICI can turn the today's tide. Okay. Actually, it looks like the market is going to be led by ONGC and Idea Cellular with 4% gains apiece and Tech Mines are 3% gains. So that's a huge start for some of these stocks and the market starts uh, a little in the red only. Flat, you have to still describe it as uh, 8614, 20 knocked off. That is, okay, now going towards 8609, 8, it's a quarter percent cut uh, and that's 53 gone on the uh, Sensex. But okay, it's still uh, trying to stabilize. Uh, the Nifty is now down a third of a percent. So that's 26 and a half, 27 knocked off. Now 8600 is in a bit of a danger. Uh, it could go even below, it looks like. 8603, 8604 as I speak. Uh, 27,800 is given up by the Sensex, uh, but the bigger cuts are coming in the Nifty. A third of a percent gone, 8,600 in danger of uh, getting broken any second now. 8,601 was where we went to, uh, but uh, uh, it's a very precarious hold over 8,600 at this point in time. Bigger losses or as big losses coming in the bank Nifty as well. That's down about 58, that index. Uh, big gainers first. ONGC numbers uh, expected today, that's 3.6% higher. Idea Cellular continues to chug along, 1.5% uh, higher. Tech Mahindra 
should have been the stock of the morning but with all the negative cues coming from the United States the gains are restricted to about half a percent but it's still gaining whereas every other tech stock is in the red but we will come to it in a bit Dr. Reddy's Ekta was telling us could be also a beneficiary of the Capaxon uh, patent uh, held in invalid for Teva that is and uh, that would make uh, uh, Dr. Reddy's incidental beneficiaries at a later date so that stock is up a third of a percent as is Sun Pharma that's up about 0.2 and Lupin so basically drug stocks are higher with Dr. Reddy's uh, being the bigger gainer now for the negatives Grasim is getting uh, a bit of a sell-off if it is the vehicle through which uh, 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 idea is going to be hydrated by the AV Birla group or perhaps uh, Grasim will see a little bit of selling uh, Gale is also down about 2% Coal India is down 2% Bharti Infratel 1.6 down and then come all the techies Infosys, Wipro uh, all of them down about uh, 1 1.2% 1 thereabouts the two wheelers also are not having a very good day Hero Motor Bajaj both down about a percent each caps well, the mid-caps are not having such a bad showing actually. It's flat with a bit of a negative bias, but there are plenty of stocks moving around on the upside. And that's why you can see that the advanced decline ratio is also positive in favor of the advances. One of the stocks of the moment is Vmart Retail. It's up almost 10% right now on the back of very good numbers the company posted. A profit growth of more than 80% for Vmart Retail. VGuard is not too far behind. A revenue growth was good. The margins were stable. So VGuard, it was one of the favorite stocks of investors in 2016 and now it's resumed its uptrend. So keep an eye out on that. A lot of good numbers actually coming in this time around. Motilal Oswal was a good set. Kitex is actually rallying quite a bit this morning. So up eight and a half percent for Kitex. Natco Pharma, as Ekta was telling us, the news flow there, that stock is up almost about five odd percent. Bajaj Finserve from the non-index large caps looking very good post its numbers rallying some more two and a half percent there and uh, a couple of others you know that have been in focus Sona Koyo um, there will be announcement an announcement expected in you know any time now from the Kapoor's on exiting their stake and selling it to the Japanese partner JTEKT so that's really keeping that stock quite active as well uh, so a lot of stocks in focus PNB Gills continues to move up after the good set of numbers it posted and uh, Mahindra Life Space a stock that we were just talking about earlier that stock too is up almost about two odd percent along with Motilal Oswal uh, NK Global also had a good run so uh, a good earnings uh, so that stock too is in the green uh, on the downside uh, let's check out how Dish TV is doing because in pre-opening it was under pressure um, that is down about two percent Sri Cement reported weak numbers and so did Sanghi Industries as Nigel was telling us but Sri Cement is holding up it's been a favorite of the market and Sanghi Industries though I think could be under pressure but um, Anuja, opening slightly subdued for the market, still hanging around 86. Yeah, years. so you know the bank Nifty opening is better than what the pre-open indicated. The Nifty opening, uh, and that's courtesy ICICI Bank. Look at the way the you know the, that low was bought. Uh, but uh, the overall market is quite interesting. Bharti Infratel actually is the stock to focus on this morning because one thought after seven percent derating yesterday, uh, could there be some recovery? But no, it's actually down another three uh, percent. Ashwini, your thoughts on market opening and Bharti Infratel? See, basically, uh, you know, most of the indices are only uh, hardly not even half a percent uh, uh, lower. So I don't think you are positioned for a trend day as of right now. But uh, clearly, uh, you know, individual stocks is the way to go. The market remains weak, even though Bank Nifty has recovered. I don't think it will be able to go into the green. So basically, uh, you know, uh, you may get follow through on something like Bajaj Finserv or ONGC a couple of stocks here and there but uh, I don't think overall uh, you will have such a great day range bound day ahead of the event and maybe that event has saved us the blushes once the event is out of the way we will catch up with the global market okay at the moment catching up yeah the global markets is uh, a, a little negative uh, Sudarshan what's your take on two companies which uh, were looking like uh, rising PFC and REC they came on the buy list of technical analysts several times uh, but PFC is clearly showing signs of a double top uh, is there a trade here in either of these no uh, it, I wouldn't I, I have call it a double top you just be patient PFC remains a buying opportunity mm -hmm. there's probably going to be some kind of a pullback and that would be a buy okay the stock okay. which is surging now is Bharat financial inclusion actually let's pull out the intra day I mean uh, it's just first few minutes of trade but uh, this stock has opened above uh, yesterday's trading range uh, 
Uh, Ashwini, it's, uh, it, it's interesting, Bharat Financial Inclusion, uh, post numbers, we had a massive rally, some consolidation and uh, yesterday it had intraday rally. Any, any thoughts on this stock? See, it came down and tested uh, the 200-day moving average. So, obviously, the stock seems to have bottomed out. And I think from here, you, sh you could get uh, levels of, you know, 850, 870 back today. All NBFCs are doing well. So, Bajaj Finance, Bharat Financial, uh, you know, Canfin Home, Bajaj Finserv. Uh, I think NBFCs uh, could do much better than the Bank Nifty today. So, that's the place uh, you focus at uh, for going long. Prakash, anything has come into your radar? Yes, I like uh, LIC, uh, LIC Housing Finance. That looks good. Can climb to levels closer to around 575 zones, stop below closer to 562. Hevels uh, looks a bit tired, but I don't think I'll short it. Perhaps Gale perhaps can slide down to levels closer to around 466 zones. Okay, well, uh, there are some stocks now under pressure because the market is inching below the 8600 level. It's now down four tenths of a percent. Uh, Bharti Infratel that Anuj was talking about is down almost four and a half percent now. But look at Aisha Motors ahead of its numbers tomorrow. Aisha Motors is down three and a half percent. So there are a lot of stocks that are correcting. The entire auto space, in fact, Tata Motors, Hero, Bajaj Auto, I sure are all down about one to three odd percent. Uh, Rajin, uh, from the heavyweights in the auto space, you spoke about M and M, but uh, from the two wheeler lot, um, how, how would you read into what has happened up until now? And any thoughts there? I think they would continue to do reasonably well, you know. iShare continues to post in good numbers, you know, and though it's a richly priced stock, it continues to uh, surprise everyone on the upside. And uh, Hero and Bajaj both, I think, should report reasonably fine, uh, uh, you know, figures going forward. So I think overall, a uh, uh, bit pro positive on this sector. Okay. Uh, well, uh, at the moment, the advanced declines have moved, the advantage has moved to the decliners. Mm. Uh, so the early morning advantage, which uh, the advancing stocks had, has been minorly lost. So it is looking like weakness uh, is catching up across the board. Now the Nifty is a little distance away from uh, the 8,600 mark. Uh, it's approaching a half a percent cut point for just yet. Uh, Midcaps definitely are doing better. Even the Bank Nifty has not lost so much as uh, Anuj was saying. ICS is uh, helping that index just a tad bit. But uh, overall weakness uh, continues to uh, persist. Uh, will you use this weakness to buy some of the stocks uh, in the Bank Nifty uh, uh, Sudarshan, for instance, Indusin Bank is standing out. Uh, uh, any buys in the Bank Nifty? No, in fact, my suggestion has been to go and short the Bank Nifty okay. only for the day, and that remains. Okay, well, uh, let's look at some more names. Uh, LIC Housing Finance is up one and a half percent. Biocon has moved up one and a half percent higher on that as well, and uh, SRF is starting to make a move. Uh, that stock is up almost about one percent. Uh, any of these names, uh, uh, Ashwini? See, overall, uh, you know, all sectors are in the red. So, I don't think, you know, getting long too many stocks is the right idea. Maybe uh, get long on a Bharat Financial, etc. But uh, overall, the market looks fairly weak. And uh, the better idea is look for opportunities on the short side. So, maybe, uh, you know, still go short on a, a Bharat Financial, on a, a Bharti Infratel. Uh, maybe Aishar Motors mm. and uh, Biocon and uh, Bharat Finance, uh, financial inclusion can be looked at on the long side. Okay, point All right. taken. Gentlemen, thanks a lot for taking us through market opening. It's a Let's thank Rajan opening. and uh, Prakash as well. Uh, thank you very much for taking us through the pre-market trades. Okay, so rates uh, are now beginning to settle. Uh, it, Infosys is down 1%. That's putting a bit of pressure on the market.